The Yellowstone Caldera, also known as the Yellowstone Plateau Volcanic Field, is a complex of quaternary calderas and volcanic plateaus that stretch across portions of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. The caldera is driven by the Yellowstone hotspot and lies largely within Yellowstone National Park. The field consists of four overlapping calderas, several lava domes, a resurgent dome, a crater lake, and a variety of bimodal lavas and tufts of basaltic and rhyolitic composition, initially covering approximately 17,000 square kilometers, six, 600 square miles. Volcanism began 2.15 million years ago and progressed through three major volcanic cycles. Each cycle involved a large ignimbrite eruption, continental-scale ashfall and caldera collapse, preceded and followed by smaller lava and tuff flows. The first and largest cycle was the eruption of the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff about 2.08 million years ago, which formed the Island Park Caldera. The most recent super-eruption, approximately 0.63 million years ago, produced the Lava Creek Tuff and created the present-day Yellowstone Caldera. Post-caldera eruptions include basalt flows, rhyolite domes and flows, and small explosive deposits, with the last magmatic eruption occurring approximately 70,000 years ago. Large hydrothermal explosions also occurred during the Holocene. From 2004 to 2009, the region experienced significant uplift due to new magma injection. The 2005 documentary Supervolcano, produced by the BBC and the Discovery Channel, raised public concern about the potential for a future catastrophic eruption. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory monitors volcanic activity and does not predict an imminent eruption. Imaging of the magma reservoir indicates the presence of substantial volumes of partial melt beneath Yellowstone that are currently uneruptable. The Yellowstone Plateau Volcanic Field lies at the eastern end of the Snake River Plain and disrupts the continuity of the Laramide Orogenic Belt, which formed during the late Cretaceous. From approximately 53 to 43 million years ago, this area experienced significant andesitic volcanism exceeding 29,000 cubic kilometers, 7,000 cubic miles in total volume, forming the Absaroka Volcanic Supergroup. Prominent peaks such as Mount Washburn and Eagle Peak are the erosional remnants of this earlier stratovolcano. Before the formation of the Yellowstone Plateau, the Teton and Madison Mountains were likely structurally continuous as were the Red Mountains and Gallatin Mountains.
The present-day Yellowstone volcanism is not a continuation of Laramide tectonism or the Absaroka volcanic province. Rather, it is the most recent part of a linear age progression of rhyolite complexes along the Snake River Plain, extending at least 16 million years to the McDermott Caldera complex. Large rhyolite tuff super eruptions occurred at these older eruptive centers. One example is the 12.1 million year old Ibex Hollow Tuff from the Bruno Jarbage Volcanic Field in southern Idaho, which buried a herd of Nebraska mammals under volcanic ash. Older volcanism proposed to be part of this hotspot belt includes the 56 million year old Celestia Oceanic Plateau and the 70 million year old Carmax Group. The cause of the northeastward progression of volcanism remains debated. Some models involve only upper mantle processes, such as mantle upthrust by the leading edge of the subducting Farallon plate, plate overturning, propagating rifting or mantle convection driven by abrupt changes in the thickness of the thermal layer at the continent ocean boundary. Proposed origins of the lower mantle suggest that fragments of the subducting Farallon plate penetrated a 660 kilometers, 410 miles, discontinuity, pushing up the lower mantle and triggering melting of the water-rich transition zone beneath the western United States. Alternatively, long-lived mantle plumes rooted at the core mantle boundary have been proposed. The plume erupted the Columbia River Basalt Group and now feeds the Yellowstone hotspot. Seismic tomography has revealed a 350 km wide, 220 mile wide, cylindrical thermal anomaly extending from the deepest mantle to just beneath Yellowstone, supporting a mantle-based plume origin. In this model, the North American plate is moving southwestward at about 2.2 cm per year over the relatively stationary plume, creating the observed age progression of the eruptive center.